know. You probably can't even freaking hear me over the hail on the roof. Good morning everybody so today is Sunday um, so we're gonna be starting this vlog here I guess I might have filmed oh I definitely did film a little bit yesterday because we had thunderstorms and I just thought that, that would be cool to show you guys that we're getting um, some spring weather already and um, which is good because we had like late winter it was like really hitting into the beginning of March and now we're finally into like real spring weather anyways Lily is playing with her dolly and she needs help so I'm going to help her real fast and then I'll talk to you guys Better? Yeah. Alright, mommy will get out of your way. Ooh. Yeah, look at this mess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, go. Anyways, hopefully we'll be getting this cleaned up. There's going to be a garage sale, like citywide garage sale. Um not this next weekend, but the following one. So I'm hoping that we will get a lot of this stuff out of here, um, or at least move around some stuff. I see that the club sale when there was bubbles there. Oh, you're talking about the one in Kansas. Yeah. Yeah, Grammy house, Grammy's house was there. Yeah. We did have a garage sale at Grammy's house. You are getting so tall, Buggy. Look how tall you are. You're such a tall girl. It's so great. You're so tall. You're getting so big. Now I can just... Now I just can drive my <laughs> face to the garage. Anyway, so today's a really, like, chillax day today. Um, just cleaning. I mean, I cleaned the carpet a little bit today. It really needs thoroughly cleaned, but I'm gonna not, not do that today because it's kind of muddy outside. There really is no point. Um... But yeah, so I've got laundry in right now, it's drying, it should be done in probably another half an hour or so, and then I'll be folding that, and other than that, I'm doing some graphic design work today. I've got two clients right now that I'm going to be working for. One's a menu project right now, and then the other one, he has me working on several projects, and um, one of them's a coloring page, uh, like a contest for an event, um, but yeah, doing coloring pages, putting the like logo and stuff on. It and um, yeah, so I'll be working on that. Okay, so went to the store and Eminem's doing this with the three different flavors: so Thai coconut, Mexican jalapeno, and English toffee. Which we already tried these and we loved them. But yeah, so. So I don't know how to open that. Oops. Alright. I have another bowl. Let's try one first, see if you like it. That's the coconut one. You want to try one, Mr. Drake? Mmm, yeah. Mm. I don't want to suck it. Mm. You gotta find a bowl first. It has a little mint in it, doesn't it? Like oh, it does. Like it has yeah. Yeah, coconut and mint. It's probably why it's Thai coconut. You want some of these or that one? That one. Oh, Lily likes them here. 
to get us in. What is it? You want to try one of the jalapeno ones? Sure. Can I have some of those before I put it on your side? Let me try it first, see if you like it. Yeah! Uh-uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are they all green? Looks like in flag colors. Oh. Kind of. You actually like that one? <coughs> it's yeah. spicy, right? You sure you want it? It's not really spicy. Just a little. I think the longer you chew it, like the spicier it gets. It's kind of funny. Oh yeah. It's like the back of my throat. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a little hot. That's interesting. I kind of like it though. Yeah, it really doesn't have a jalapeno flavor. It really is just like a yeah, I like it. Chili from the right at first, but then it gets really hot. Woo! Okay, and then the ones we've already tried, the English toffee. <laughs> Lily had a good drink. <gasps> I don't want that. Those are English toffee. Not the, not the pepper. No, oh, ma'am. They do taste like coffee. Mm. It tastes like coffee. It smells like it. It's so good. I don't know. This would be my vote. I do like the other ones, though. Mm. Do you like the spicy? I do. Anyways, that's it for now. We're just chilling out. It's a nice spring day with some spring storms. Although, I think they're mostly over now. Which sucks in my opinion. I was hoping it was going to storm like legit all day. Alright everybody, so I just got done filming the spring lookbook. And that is up on Wednesday. So I'll post a link up here so that you guys can see that. And now I'm going to change back into the first outfit from that video. That's going to be my outfit today. And then me and Lily are going to go to the library. Yeah. You ready to go? Yes. But yeah, this is how my lookbook goes. <laughs> I just hang up everything up here and then just change and go. Can I change too? You want a different outfit? Yeah. Okay. Can I see some? Okay, guys, we're just going to go back to the library again. <laughs> we're going there back tomorrow. Why do you yourself saying that? Um... We're going back to tomorrow. I'll let this be vlogging. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to get? I need to get some small books like Clifford again. Yeah? Some movies? Yeah, I get to pick out the same Dora on my tablet. Oh, yeah. We need to clean your face first. You got a little chocolate face. Ah. I don't know. Is it too heavy? <laughs> Bring it back. I'm starting to get a new bag. A new bag? Yeah. Oh, one of those. Is that the same one we already got before? What is that one? Oh, animals. Okay, that's fine. Should we pick some more fancy Nancy books? Do you like those? Uh, let me do it. They're over here somewhere. Oh, yeah. fancy there you fancy. go, get a little book. What buggy? Happy Nino. Mmm. Back in the car and we're gonna go to the dollar store now and get Lily some diapies and some more diaper wipes and yeah then we're gonna see about some food. So guys I'm gonna I'm gonna get a paint cap 
dollar toy. Yeah. But we're back in the car. And see, there's a white car. No, oh, first diapies. Probably should have got a cart. Here, they got pull-ups. Oh my gosh, they're so much more expensive. I have to have pull-ups. Seven dollars versus... No, we're not getting the pull-up buggy. They're so expensive. We're just gonna get these. They're like two dollars more for like less. Oh, and wipes. We need diaper wipes too. Where were those at? I didn't even yeah. see them. No, you don't need a hairbrush. Why? Because. You got one at home? Yep. You wanted to pick a toy. Let's see, where's the Easter stuff? Find the Easter stuff. Well, I think it might be right here. Go look down here. Maybe we'll find what you're looking for. I'm looking for this. No. I thought you wanted something to paint. Here. They've got little eggs. You want to paint an egg? Yes! Okay, that's it. Okay, so today is just a work day. I've been working pretty much all day. And we watched Fern Gully earlier. So that's like the break that I had. That and then kind of trying to help my niece with homework. She doesn't feel good so she went inside. We didn't actually finish doing her homework. But she said she's going to work on it inside. But uh... Anyways, <laughs> Toxic Tears new video popped up, so I just wanted to comment on that drama again. I know I kind of said something about it in my last video along the lines of I would be doing a series on like how to do goth like cheap without having to buy Killstar and stuff. And I kind of wanted to talk about the reason I think that they're getting flack and pretty much any channel that's doing Killstar stuff is getting flack is because... Killstar's just gotten so popular to the point that people who, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like it's good because it's growing your channel because people who are into this new goth style that aren't really goth that just like the style are watching your channel. Like that's cool. But I think that's why people are getting mad about it. Um, ah! hang on just a second. What? Do you want some cake and ice cream? Yes, I want But you didn't eat any dinner. You can't have any. But yes, I would like cake, no ice cream. Alright. I want some dinner. You want some dinner? Yeah. Can I go in with you and get some oh dinner? Gosh. Anyways, I don't know what I was going to say now. Um. Can I go in? Oh, I think that's why it's making people mad. Is because I don't know this thing about like they don't out want outsiders out being goth or something and. Get some and food. I think it's really a jealousy thing, like, people are jealous of these channels that are so large because they do the Killstar reviews, and then they're yes. getting larger because Killstar then Stop sends them free stuff. I can't hear you. Mama, can I go in with you and get some food? I guess so. But yeah, anyways, I just want to put my two cents in that I think that's why everybody's getting mad. And it is kind of silly because it's just jealousy. You wish your channel was as big as that because, oh, yeah, thank you. Love you. Love you too. I got kicked. Anyways, but I don't know. I I mean, look at me. I wear Lularo half the time. Half of my stuff is Lularo and I really could care less. And I don't know. Sometimes I do catch myself feeling jealous because the Killstar stuff is cute, but I can't afford it. I know I can't. The only reason I afforded this Lularo is because my sister was selling it and helped me and let me, like, pay her slowly for the stuff or, like, gave me a discount. Like, a lot of the pieces I bought when she closed down her store and she gave it uh, extremely discounted, so... And then I've won a lot of Lularo too. I'm um, just like going to parties and doing parties and doing contests and anyways. So that's how I got most of my expensive clothing for free or cheap. But yeah, so I can't afford to buy Killstar. And so that's why I wanted to do the series is because I know a lot of the goth content creators, especially popular ones, are doing Killstar stuff and like who can afford that? Even their freaking, like, socks are expensive. <laughs> anyway, so that's why I want to do 
this, which I'm going to start because I'm starting to make some money now, so I'll have a little extra income to spend on doing videos. So I'm going to be doing, um, I don't know, I'm going to be coming up the lookbooks on Wednesday, like I said earlier in the video. Um, so that can kind of spawn this, maybe in the next couple of weeks. The Wednesday video will be along the same lines of uh, goth fashion, so I'll do a thrift haul and show you like three outfits under... I don't know, three outfits under $20, <laughs> and then, um, so, for cheaper than the price of one item at Killstar, and then maybe one of the items we will turn into a DIY and make it like Killstar, because basically they're just putting, like, symbols on their clothing that, like, anybody could print off and use, because they're symbols that are just really common, like, like pentagrams and <laughs> stuff like that, so there's really no reason why you couldn't do it. And if I do do that and I create the stencils, I'll probably print them off and I'll make the PDFs available. Could you be quiet? I'll make the stencils available on my website if you want to um, download them. And I'll put that in the link below if I do that on those videos. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I just I saw her video and apparently people are still dragging this out. There are still people talking about it. So I just want to put my two cents in and say that I think that that is why. It's just that people are jealous, people don't like the fact that people are just watching them for fashion, I guess, I don't know, because there's this uppityness about, oh, it's not real goth, because they're just into the goth fashion. Like I've said before, I think I've said it before in my videos, I could care less. If my grandma wanted to be goth and just dress goth, but wasn't actually goth, I'd be like, well, fuck yeah, because <laughs> the world would be much more beautiful if everybody was goth, and I could care less if they absolutely liked the same things that I do. If the the fact that they like the fashion is just one step up for me. So anyways, um, yeah, I don't hold any animosity against them. Sometimes I do feel jealous just because their content's better and they've got more viewers and stuff, but I'll work on it and it will hopefully get better. Um, but yeah, so instead of being uppity about it like some people, I'm going to work harder, um, which is what they should do too. All right, everybody, it's now 12.54. <laughs> It's 12.54 in the afternoon on Wednesday. I had a dentist appointment this morning at, well, we got there at 9.50 because I had to fill out the stuff. And then Lily uh, was supposed to have a cleaning, which they did do, but she has a uh, bottle teeth is what they call it. It's the top front four and oftentimes a lot of kids have a problem with it because, you know, they're drinking out of a bottle and juice and it just yeah and like for a year she wouldn't let me check her teeth there anyways i feel like a bad parent but apparently it's common that's why there's a name for it but anyway so she has to go to a specialist to get her teeth done but they did do her cleaning and she got surprised she wanted to show you show your surprise that's not the only one you got she also got a tattoo but mama messed it up already so it's in the garbage but she also got what else did you get a little googly eye guy, yeah. But yeah, she got that for going to the dentist and having a cleaning. Did you have fun at the dentist? Mommy did not, however. I didn't have fun. It was okay. It wasn't so bad, but I did get one wisdom tooth removed. He said, well, I've had extractions on the top, so the top two are fine. He said, because there's enough room for them now. But he said that the other bottom one, it might have to get removed at some point. But right now, it's not poking through. And it doesn't seem like it's causing any problems. So, the only one that he removed was this one. Because it was poking through the tissue a little bit. And, um, I have it. <laughs> if, you need, if anybody's interested in seeing it, just let me know. And I can show you in the next vlog. So, let me keep it. that I got from the dentist. Well, yeah, it's like the perfect size for your dolly, huh? Yeah. Update. I was hungry, so I ate a half a banana and drank a chocolate breakfast shake, and I kind of feel like, ugh. I feel both hot and cold, and I'm just like, ugh. I don't know. Anyways, apparently my body's not doing well with the blood loss. <laughs> Even though it's so minuscule. Anyways, so, still got gauze in my mouth. My husband said to keep putting it in until there's just a very little bit coming out. Because... Uh, he thought I would be more sick if I swallowed the blood, so he said, keep doing this. What are you doing? I'm putting on my stuff. Anyways, now I'm watching Morgan's video. 
Yeah, I'm just watching YouTube videos because I feel like too horrible to do anything now. Hey, look at me! You caught up with me. Just here's me with uh. Look at all those beautiful curls today. Beautiful curls. And also my skateboard. Yeah. And I feel like how much. That's that, enough. that is cold. Yeah. It's for mommy's face. Can Anyways, I? my husband got me an ice pack and I managed to eat some dinner. Are you going to vlog for me? Yeah. How about you point at my face instead of. Now Lily's the camera. Look at that great camera girl. Anyways, yeah, so my husband got me this, and I managed to eat about a half a can of SpaghettiOs, and me and Lily had chocolate pudding, and now it's raining. We're having a little spring storm. You want to record the spring storm, buggy? What does it look like? It looks like a big storm. Can you see? Yeah. I don't know, you can't barely tell. It's pretty dark behind the trees, but it's not dark over here yet. You can still even see the sun over there. Yeah, yeah please know. ignore the... When I film outside here, it's like really bad right now. My my husband's sister made a mess outside, and that's part of the reason why we're staying here, is to help clean up all of this junk that's outside. Well, I say junk. A lot of it's still good stuff, but... A lot of it's also been rained on, that's cloth, and it just needs to turn away. And we're doing that, and yard work, and helping clean up in the house, and remodel some stuff. And that's the main reason we're here, and also just because we needed a place to go, and they would let us park here for free, so. Yeah, it was already water damaged, though, but. Getting some more water damage. Yeah, a little bit. Ugh. But yeah, so my lymph node's completely swollen on this side, and that hurts the most. And then when I swallow, it hurts. But I do feel better with the ice pack anyway. It feels nice. And I'm watching. Rain, well, rain, go away. Other than the storm rain, is nice, yeah. Rain, but we're watching. You can't probably even see it barely. Rain, Fifth rain, element. I just, when I'm sick, I like watching this. Probably also going to watch Howl's Moving Castle. I watched it a couple, no, I guess not a couple nights ago. It's probably been almost a week, actually. But yeah, so I'm going to watch it once this is over. Which, it's getting pretty close because it's to the hotel part now. But anyways, my camera, I just noticed, is about out of battery. So I'm going to cut this short here. It's probably the end of today, but today's only Wednesday. So <laughs> we'll see what else we get up to in this vlog. <laughs> Alright you guys, so it's Thursday, you can probably tell, oh actually it's way better, anyways this side of my face is swollen, it was way worse earlier today, um, and I was feeling sick this morning, I don't know if it's from like the drainage from it was like getting in my stomach making me feel sick or, I don't know, but anyways, so, um, I couldn't take pills for a while because I was feeling sick, but finally took ibuprofen, I think that and the ice pack have helped. But yeah, so I've pretty much been laying about all day. It's like 2.40 now. Probably like the last hour, maybe two hours I felt better. Mama, can I vlog? Just hang on a second. Let me finish talking about what I was talking about. Anyways, my mother-in-law got me mac and cheese, like the little cups that you just make in the microwave. And actually, it's been really great. And then she brought me some Jello, and she says she has some applesauce in there that I can have. So yeah, she's been really awesome taking care of me since my own mama's not here. <laughs> um, but no, uh, not just her. Mr. Trey made me rice last night before bed because I was hungry. So he made me some rice so, so I could have something small to like just swallow and <laughs> make my belly feel full. Um, I'm drinking some water. Yeah, I'm trying to drink water. That's another good one. Good call, bug. <laughs> I'm going to have to get some more though. I've only had that one today.